Hi, my name is Joel Wilson with Applied Controls. Today I'm going to walk you through a demo of the Thermo Scientific Orion benchtop meter called the V-Star Pro. Now the one thing that's very beneficial about this meter, you can customize it. It has a flexibility to be able to measure whatever you need it to measure. It is modular, meaning you order whatever modules you need to make this thing give you the readings that you want. This is a blank one, but for demonstration purposes today, I've got pH and connectivity hooked up for this thing. You can have four pHs, four connectivities. You can do DO, RDO. Uh, it's got a pH IC if you need to do something like ammonia and so forth. A lot of different ways that you can measure, a lot of different measurement points to make. One of the cool options on this, if you wanted to see multiple readings at once, like it is right now, I'm seeing both my pH and my connectivity. But if I hit channel here, I can sit there and do one channel at a time. So if I wanted to see the pH only, if I was doing a connectivity next and I wanted to see the connectivity only, it would only show that. However, if I was doing a, a sample like you see here, and I want to run both of those at the same time, I would hit channel here. I can see both my pH and connectivity, and then I would hit measure, and boom, I do one measurement to make two readings. It makes things go quicker. So now I'm going to walk you through a calibration using this meter. I've got my buffer solutions here, my 7 and my 10. I've also got a cleaning solution so I can clean the sensor before and after and in between each one of these steps here. So if we wanted to calibrate one of our sensors, basically all we do is we use these function buttons. So I'm going to hit F1 where it shows calibrate. F1. It's going to ask me which one that I want to select. It's on pH and that's what I'm going to do. So i got select. I'm going to hit F3. And now it asks me to uh, start the process. So I've got it in my buffer. Once I come over here and I have it in my buffer, it says uh, press start to begin. So we come, we see the start. We're going to hit F3. And now the thing is uh, going to uh, stabilize. It's going to go through the calibration. We've calibrated to the 7. It asks you to accept F2 to confirm. Uh, press edit to edit calibration. So we want to accept that, we are good to go. So we're gonna hit this F2, we're gonna hit the F2 button to, to confirm that. So now it's saying uh, press next key to perform another cal point or cal done. If you just wanna do the single calibration, we hit the F3, but we wanna go ahead and we wanna do a two point calibration here. So we're gonna hit F2 to go to next. Now it tells us to rinse the electrode and place it into the next buffer. All right, so I've placed it into our 10 buffer and now I'm gonna hit start for our next calibration point. And we can see it is uh, trying to calibrate to the 10. And there we go, we have calibrated to the 10. It is telling me it is ready. So we can uh, either edit the calibration uh, or we can accept. I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept calibration. Now, if we wanted to perform a three point, we could do that now by hitting the next, the F2. But we're gonna be done here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say cal done. Once we're done, at any point, you can just hit this measure escape, and we can escape back to our point there, home screen. See our both connectivity and the pH, the pH, channel one, connectivity, channel two. One of the cool features that I like about this V-Star Pro is a fact on this uh, pH, you can see we're getting a reading here, but it saves your last calibration point. So we can see the dates, 322.20 at 11.03 a.m. See what our slope was, 98.8. Uh, really nice function if you need to make sure that that thing has been calibrated with to meet your standards. The V-Star Pro Benchtop Meter gives you the flexibility to customize this however you need for whatever readings you need in your lab. If you have any other questions, please let me know, and thank you for watching the demonstration.